The atmosphere in Oshun State, Nigeria was charged up on Thursday, the 23rd of September, 2021, as Oshun State rounded off its 30th anniversary celebration with a banquet and award ceremony. The Oshun at 30 program tagged celebrating a milestone, building a prosperous future, had prominent Nigerians in attendance, big wig politicians, business moguls, clerics, royal fathers among others. The Oshuat 30 anniversary banquet and award ceremony had some important personalities like the Honorable Minister for Youth and Sports Development, Mr. Sandy Dari, Undo State Governor, Arakumi Rotimi Akiridolu, Lagos State Governor, Mr. Babajide Sanwulu, and his Ogun State counterpart, Dr. Dakwa Biodun, were both represented at the event. Former governors of Oshun State, Chief Bisi Akonde and Prince Olagun Soyo Yilola, former Ogun State Governor Otumba Benga Daniel, former Oyo State Governor Otumba Lawakala, Senator Iyola Mishiri, former Oshu Deputy Governor Erelu Lushala Obada, as well as former Oyo State Deputy Governor Chief Moses Alaki. Also at the event was the Speaker of the Oshu State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Timothy Owoye. Oshun Deputy Governor Mr. Benedict Alabi, Oshun State APC Chairman Prince Boyega Famuudu, among many others. First class traditional rulers present at the event were the Alafi of Oyo, His Imperial Majesty Oba Lamidi Adeyemi, the Owao Bokun Adimula of Ijesha Land, His Royal Majesty Oba Dr. Adekunle Arumolaro, among many other traditional rulers. The event, which lasted for six and a half hours, was held at the Women and Children Development Initiative Center, WOGDIF, in Oshubu, the state capital. The program was ably anchored by multiple award-winning broadcaster extraordinaire, Prince Dr. B.C. Olatilo, alongside Yinka Adeguju, Adeoye Bakare, and Olubukola Adiribibi. In his brief welcome address, the Chief of Staff to Governor Adigbo Igao Yitola of Oshun State, Dr. Charles Dijia Kionla, welcomed all to the epoch-making event. The third reason is you being here today. You belong to the finest talk nation of Africa. You are some of our brightest, most gifted, accomplished citizens. We are excited about the endless possibilities that will be birthed. I'm a deep pleased with the diversity of the audience in this uh, auditorium. It's indeed a reminder of the need to celebrate our diversity. I think it is something that deserves to be celebrated. Again, it fully aligns with the inclusive and participatory governance style of Governor Wayne and Lotola. Most of course, thank you again, Mr. Governor, for your purposeful leadership, your vision, large attentiveness, and your guidance and inspiration for this program. Having said this, what remains is for me to welcome you again and thank you for coming and to wish you a most memorable afternoon. The Governor of Oshun State, His Excellency, Chief Adegui Gao Yetola, who could not hide his joy and excitement to all Oshun sons and daughters present at the event, thanked everyone for coming. I'm delighted to welcome you all to the banquet awards presentation, the 30th anniversary of our dear state. Our state was created 30 years ago as a fruit of the struggles of our forebears, was founded on the Omolu Adeltos of excellence, hard work, integrity, honesty, good neighborliness, and patriotism. In this 30 year, I've gone through things and things. I've pulled through with stoic, excellence, turning challenges, and prosperity. We have won Lauren a symbol of success, become one of the outstanding states in our nation. The heights we have attained today, the tribute to the toys, and the purposeness of our people, and indeed the visionary leaders who led the struggle for the creation of their state. Governor Adibu Igao Yitola said, The growth of Oshun State is a collective responsibility of all sons and daughters of the land, 
and stressed that stakeholders must resolve to work, irrespective of their political differences and sentiments. He said the event is symbolic, designed to recognize and celebrate distinguished citizens and friends of the state of Oshun, whose phenomenal contributions in various fields have made Oshun State proud. Today we paid the South tribute to the illustrious men and women, both military administrators and democratically elected governors, including my immediate predecessor, Aniku Bent, Interior Minister of Bene, Alec Shola, who are very sway as leaders of our people. We do not forget your neighbors along. We are here today because you all provided direction and showed distinct leadership in a manner that all our state is deserve recognition and reputation over the years. We are grateful to you all. This banquet and awards evening is designed to recognize and celebrate our distinguished citizens and friends of the state whose phenomenal, phenomenal contribution to the various fields of Endeavour have made Oshun proud and have helped to build the Oshun for our founding father's dream. They are eminent individuals whose contributions and legacies have inspired our people, especially our youth, to believe in our dear state and continue to fly like high. A minute silence was observed in honor of the first civilian governor of Oshun State, the late Governor Isiaka Adeleke. On the awards proper, Governor Digbo Igao Yitala said the 28 selected awardees are eminent individuals whose contributions and legacies have inspired the people of Oshun State, especially the youth. On behalf of the government and the people, two people of the Oshun State, I thank our awardees for their monumental contributions to our dear state, the nation and the world, and for leading lives that inspire us and our prosperity to be a greater ocean. Their building is a collective enterprise. Therefore, we must all, more than ever before, pull our collective strength to work, irrespective of political differences and sentiment for a greater tomorrow. We must consider, we must consider it as an urgent task to galvanize our device strength, goodwill and resources to charge the pathway and deliver the ocean of our dream. That is in this we owe ourselves and the generations coming behind us. We cannot afford to fail. So I call on you, the civil men and women of goodwill, in this all and beyond, to arise and let us be the better ocean that is reflecting of our true potential as a cradle of humanity. Oshun Lifetime Achievement Awards were presented to Chief B.C. Akonde, former governor of Oshun State. Pastor Ino Kadeboye, General Overseer, RCCG Worldwide, who was represented. Sheikh Abdul Rashid Adiatullah, President, Supreme Council for Sharia in Nigeria. General Ikbola Lania Kinri Ade retired, former Chief of Army Staff from October 1979 to April 1980 and then Chief of Defense Staff until 1981, during the Second Republic. Ashiwaju Hamedu Midiron, Comrade Hazan Sumonu, Prince Tunde Kbonle, Professor Ulu Aino, Chief Akinwande Akinola, Engineer Joanna Ulu Makinde, and Chief Dr. Benjamin Adigun.
Legacy Awards were presented to Dr. Folora Shah Lakija, the Chancellor, Osho State University, and dynamic philanthropist, and late Madame Suzanne Wenger, a culture and tourism icon. Recipients honored with the Osho Merit Award were Emeritus Professor Ademola Oyejide, Chief Nike Okundaye of Nike Arts Gallery, Professor Oyeguruje, Professor Isaac Adewole, Former Minister of Health and Malam Yusuf Ali, SEN. She's a good ambassador of Oshu. She is a good artist, a dancer, promoter of culture, which Oshu is doing for her nation. Recipients for the 10 Oshun Distinguished Citizens Award were Pastor Matthew Ashimaluo, Babai Fayemiele Buibon, Brigadier General Liu Shegun Ajiburisha, who was represented by Major General Clement Temidayo Lukuju, retired, Chief Adigbu Igawo Molo, SAN, Ashuaju Kamis Olatunde Badmers, Prince Lawal Obelawo, OONJP, Chief Moses Inolaji Aboaba, Mr. Dewale Adeyemo, Mr. Kola Adeniji, and Mr. Mike Awoyimfa. For the governor and the good people of the 
state of motion. We present this award to Pastor Matthew Washimolo for his contribution to the development of this state. He is being promised to get job both morally, spiritually, and socially. So, on behalf of Mr. Governor and the good people of this state, we present you this award. In the vote of thanks of all the awardees delivered by Chief Bisiakonde, former Governor of Oshun State, he appreciated the recognition and honor done past leaders of the state of Oshun and commended the Governor Adigbo Igao Yetola led administration for the laudable initiative. The 30th anniversary banquet and awards celebration of the state of Oshun saw former military administrators and governors of the state of Oshun since its creation in 1991 decorating one another as guests relished the historic moment. A highlight of the ceremony was the display of the rich cultural heritage of the people of Oshun state through beautiful cultural dance performances by various dance troops in the state, music presentations and comedy performances to entertain guests. Oh, 
bahwa makaya mata wasimo luwa lojo akoko ni bi fa ko le be o emi o ma pa ni we ro ba lo su o ha ha nte yan 20 million e yan to wasimo luwa lojo akoko gba jo 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 se ji ti won ma si ye won ta pa won la pa 75 ala won ya ka wa ja kan ya fo e wa jo lo jo ko le ni si ja me baba ala ya sa ni Music was supplied by the Lagos-based Ebony Band. From Biscon Communications, it's 30 hearty cheers to the government and good people of Oshun State.